And uh, he now, he doesn't want to go out too early. He wants to get down to the end of the pit lane such that he doesn't get, uh, he doesn't lose too much tire temperature. He will then have to start as the last car has passed the end of the pit lane. He'll be given a green light. Michael Schumacher then on pole position. Ferrari chasing their 160th Grand Prix win of the season. Kimi, uh, in their history, Kimi Raikkonen, we're being told, has dived into the pits. Now, he was on dry tyres. We believe he's refuelling, so McLaren are throwing some dice here. The first Grand Prix to the new rules, and already McLaren are taking a gamble. Why not? Kimi Raikkonen's down in 15th place. The Asios Verstappen, no sign yet of Kimi Raikkonen. We're expecting him to come shooting down behind Verstappen any moment. Meanwhile, there's a race to get started here. Well, Michael Schumacher has led the World Championship for over two years now. Will he still be leading? Will he still be in front at the end of this afternoon? When the lights go out, the race will be on. A giant leap into the unknown in Melbourne begins now! Fabulous start by Panis. Montoya's holding him up. Panis is going to on the inside of him. It's as you were at the front of two Ferraris. Coulthard banged into someone there. It looks at things, the right front of Coulthard. One of the Renaults has lost ground as well, a slightly chaotic start. How is David Coulthard doing, though? I think it was just a, a bang of the wheels, or did Coulthard just swerve at the last minute? So Ferrari won two then. Montoya maintained third, and Panis about to be overtaken around the outside by a rather feisty Sauber driver. I think it was Heidfeld. Heidfeld, Heidfeld then makes it. His, uh, Villeneuve was right in front of Fisichella, and it's put him out of kilter. We're going to race, though, here in Malaysia. When the five lives go out, Fernando Alonso will have the most amazing experience, and so will we. Away we go. Alonso on the right, Trulli on the left. Watch out for Michael Schumacher behind Alonso, who's got away brilliantly. Coulthard has made a superb start and is going to be second into, and he's going to be third. A great recovery by Trulli. Alonso runs wide though, but Trulli side by side, Schumacher and David Coulthard, and a contact. Wow. Trulli and Schumacher make contact, and one of the, uh, that's Montoya has been hit as well, Martin. That's Trulli. Yes, that was in all Michael Schumacher's fault. He was so busy trying to uh, get round the outside of David Coulthard that he ran into the back of uh, Truly. So Michael Schumacher, a big error in turn two, will cost them both dearly. Ferrari mechanics in the pit lane. Schumacher very shortly. It's good. I hate it when the commentators have to work harder than the drivers, but now they are going to have to work overtime. They're going to have about uh, zero grip into the first corner. It's going to feel like greased ice because their tyres are cold, they're low pressure, everything's cold, and they've not had any warm-up this morning, no exploratory laps. The first time they go through Turn 1 at speed is the first time since yesterday afternoon. A real challenge for these Grand Prix drivers. And look how Rubens Barrichello is bunching up the field. The safety car comes in, the crowd are cheering. Let's get back and have a look at what Rubens is doing, though. He hasn't hit the gas yet. When's he going to hit it? Everybody's waiting. Webber's alongside David Coulthard. They're all waiting to see when Coulthard's going to drop the throw and Bar Barrichello's going to drop the throw. Here he goes! Not Here smart. he goes! Not a smart thing to do at all, Rubens. That's bunching the pack too much. He should have just taken a sensible run. And now uh, Coulthard might punish him for that down into Turn 1. And uh, as long as Coulthard doesn't go and break, lock his brakes, he hasn't done. Coulthard takes an easy lead then. Barrichello outsmarting himself. Yep, David Coulthard takes the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix from Rubens Barrichello. And, uh, well, as you say, Martin, it didn't work out from that tactic. Mark Webber has managed to maintain third place. So they're just putting energy into the car, into the brakes. Anything they can do to get a few more degrees in everything before this race gets underway except of course the engine because now they're stationary there are no fans on these cars and they're just beginning to heat up now and the temperatures are soaring as those cars sit on the line well montoya said it would be wild from the start get ready then for the law of the jungle here we go they're off great start by Trulli. look at him down the inside he's attacking using that Renault launch control he takes the lead and raikkonen's up into second place Schumacher, someone's blown up in the pack there, I think one of the Jaguars, but uh, yes it is indeed, but Michael Schumacher, so aggressive off the start, he is, I think, in fifth place at the moment, and look at that, what a fabulous start by Jano Trulli. Michael Schumacher tried to get round the outside there of his brother Ralph and didn't quite make it, the oil smoke you're seeing is overfilled cars, I don't believe they're actually having terminal problems, as Alonso having a good run at Michael Schumacher. Schumacher. Now, 
dirty side of the track is the side on the left as we look at it here. Uh, you can see Michael Schumacher over on the left-hand side, and Raikkonen just alongside him. So watch out for that. Watch out for the cars here on the pit wall side, getting away more slowly than the ones on the outside. We saw it yesterday in the Formula 3000 race. It was quite a big part of the story of that race. Let's see if it is today here. Long time forming up today too, and the uh, emergency car in the back just taking its position now. Here we go then, Hungarian Grand Prix, 70 laps, begin now! Cracking start from Alonso, look at that, he's like a missile, he's flying towards the first corner, and you see Ralph Schumacher is behind Weber. he's also behind Rubens Barrichello, that's a very expensive start for Ralph Schumacher, look at Trulli pushing Ralph Schumacher, and then Kimi Raikkonen's gone past him as well, so Ralph has gone backwards with a vengeance, Montoya challenging, there's Michael Schumacher as well, what an explosive start to the Grand Prix. Well, as we thought, everybody on the right-hand side, absolutely no one, look at Ralph Schumacher from the front of the grid, he's pointing the wrong way in turn two, and a Toyota of Damata being pushed off the grid, so Alonso leads from Weber, Barrichello, Raikkonen, Trulli and Coulthard. Antonio Pizzonia, who missed out on the second Williams drive to Nick Heidfeld, very disappointed and I'm sure feeling very idle this afternoon with the other men racing. Christian Horn, a new boss of Red Bull Racing, very exciting young sporting director, he's really going places. Hopefully we can get this Grand Prix underway then, everybody is formed up. These cars will go from 0 to 125 miles an hour in five seconds. They are awesome machines and the 2005 Formula One World Championship is... Go! Great start by Fisichella from pole. Weber goes to the middle, truly looks defensive. David Coulthard's done well. He's up in the fourth. He's having a look at Weber. He's up in the third. Tracking start by David Coulthard. Coulthard had to take the place because he was so deep into the corner. He had to make the overtake, but it worked a treat. As you say, up in the third for him. Fisichella leads then comfortably from Truly. David Coulthard, what a dream debut for Red Bull Racing. And then it's uh, Weber. And it seems like Heidfeld had a stunning start as well. You can see Rubens Barrichello in the middle of the pack as they all stream through with Jordan. On board there with Trulli just sliding into fifth place. Mark Webber over to our right. Terrific effort by him in the Williams. No one really expected them to be that far up the grid. And he did a great, great job in qualifying. Alex Wurtz in the second McLaren just behind Trulli on the grid. Juan Montoya is not here this weekend, still injured. They want to be on the left. The first left-hander uh, is much shorter, of course. It goes immediately into a left-hand turn, this grid and you definitely want to be on the inside and the left-hand side, therefore, down into the uh, Tamburello chicane. And the lights go out, the San Marino Grand Prix will begin. Are you ready? Let's race! Oh, yellow flags in the back. Good start by Raikkonen, and Button tucks in behind Alonso. Jano Chuli's made a good start as well. Looks like he's up in the fourth place, turning into the Tamburello for the first time. Last year, David Coulthard went straight on there, but nobody this year has made a mistake into Turn 1. And Kimi Raikkonen has got the break from pole, with Alonso right behind him. Button tucks in third where he started. Chuli's made up a place. Sato looks like he's made up a place as well. I always wanted to know, you're bringing it round, you're just tightening your belts, aren't you? Just taking some breathing and that kind of stuff. What do you... I'm normally really relaxed at this point. You know, we've, we've really got to concentrate on getting heat into the tyres, the brakes. The tyres this year, because we're only running one set, it's, it's harder to get more heat into the tyres. Everybody forming up on the grid. That's the view back then from your pole sitter, the Royal Box on the right, with Prince Albert in it and his family. 78 laps of this 2.075 mile racetrack. The last drivers forming up at the back of the grid, as you can see, it's on a slight curve, the start line here. Engines well, are cooking at this point. We're just sailing skywards. Must seem an eternity sitting yeah. on the front of the grid. Watching it here actually feels longer. Well, they've worked hard up to this point, but this is where the hard work really begins. The Monaco Grand Prix begins now! Good start by Raikkonen. Alonso not so well away, but he's fighting him. He's looked on the inside and on the outside. Fisichella has jumped Weber, and so has Trulli. The two Williams are side by side up the hill. A terrible start for Mark Weber, but that's great news. The one follows through. It looks like they've all got through cleanly as they go up for the first time towards Casino Square. Raikkonen leads. Going down to the grid, Coulthard was making a late bid to let me go racing. I want to race. I'm prepared to take the risk. This afternoon, the problem is if he has a problem and takes out one of the other drivers or whatever, there's some uh, significant implications and ramifications of that. So it looks like we're going to have 
a six car start six cars outside our window here well the only people i can see that are happy are a bunch of indians just below us who can see that carter k and may well be on for a podium here this afternoon who knows what's going to happen in the u.s grand prix it's the strangest race ever and it gets underway now predictably michael schumacher leads away from rubens barrichello the two jordans they're going to make a bit of a battle with the minardi looks like we might be losing a jordan already i saw smoke earlier i mentioned it off the formation lap the two minardis there battling with the jordans as well and what is the reaction of the crowd? Well, it's stunned. Stunned silence. I don't know what it says about the six teams that have elected to run, to be honest. Maybe they're contractually bound. But, uh, you know, they they should have joined up and found the solution too. I think they're probably just as guilty here of doing the wrong things as the guys in the pit, in many respects. Because of course, he's in the pit lane, along with Montero. So, 71 laps of Interlagos, Raikkonen, Montoya, and Alonso is go! And here they come up over the hill right towards us. Montoya has not got a good enough start, and neither has Raikkonen. He goes down the inside, though, of Fisichella, who goes defensive. Raikkonen up onto the rumble strips. No contact, as far as I can see, through the field, but Alonso leads, Montoya is second, and it looks as though Fisichella is resisting. Kimi Raikkonen, down the back straight they go. Fisichella goes defensive, he can only move once. Raikkonen's going to try and take him around the outside. Yeah, he'll not go around the outside of there, but uh, that means with the tight line, it means Fisichella has run wide on the exit, and Raikkonen has punished him for that, and that's a critical move. Straight up to third place then to Kimi Raikkonen, that's a Ferrari that's just about to connect. Michael Schumacher just failing to connect with Fisichella, who clearly got wrong-footed down that straight. So safety car is out, there must be something on the grid, I would imagine, that didn't get away. It looked a bit thin at the back end of the field. It's Sonia and Coulthard, we're being told. Smoke coming out of the back of Button's car. Hopefully that's just some oil and that uh, surplus oil around the exhaust pipes and etc. because that's a lot of smoke. Well, we've seen it before, haven't we, Martin? We've seen a lot of smoke coming out of Jensen Button's car and it's gone on to finish the race. Look at that. Other drivers think he's probably on fire. He isn't. Here come the lights then. When they go out, we'll be racing at Suzuka. And it's go! Cracking start by Coulthard. Look at him coming through the middle. He's already in front of Sato. Fisichella is in front of Button. That's terrible news for Jensen Button. And Coulthard is having a go as well. Christian Kleen is also in the mix. Two cars are off the racetrack. One of them, though, is the local hero, Takuma Sato. The other is the Ferrari of Rubens Barrichello. That's terrible news for local hero, Takuma Sato. But at the front, a poor getaway for Jensen Button. Has that scuppered his plans here for his first Grand Prix? Far away, there's David Coulthard, the rear wing of the Red Bull racing car, once again punching well above its weight in Coulthard's hands. And Schumacher, doesn't he look relaxed? A little casual wink there from the seven times world champion. No sign of Albers at the end of the pit lane yet. In fact, I've just seen him emerge from the garage, so the Minardi will start behind the Ferrari. Carter Kine pits for Jordan, obviously, with uh, some kind of problem. Well, that's probably tactical. We've seen that a few times. They qualify very light, start from the pit lane. So a bit of an academic exercise in qualifying, possibly, for the Jordan team. Anyway, 56 racing laps of Shanghai will start when the red lights go out. And the season will come to a close. The race is... Go! Cracking start by Alonso. Fisichella goes defensive. McLarens are both looking for a way through. Button will be key here. He backs out of it. It's McLaren three and four. Renault have got the one-two that they wanted into turn one. Doesn't look like there's any contact further back, but Fisichella already playing a defensive role here. And you can see Coulthard has had a terrific start. So too is Ralph Schumacher. Looks like everyone... Meanwhile, pole position man's been waiting well over half a minute. Yeah, and on a day like this, with the temperatures as high as they are, that's not an ideal situation. Two Super Guri Hondas at the back of the grid. We've got two Hondas at the front of the grid as well. And the 62 laps of the San Marino Grand Prix will begin when the lights go out. Schumacher on the right, button on the left. They're away. Traditionally a difficult to start off the pit lane side. Button's done well, though. Barrichello a little bit slow away, and Massa is attacking him. Everybody else attacking as well. Who's going to come out on top between the two Brazilians? Massa does in front of Barrichello, and that must be Alonso. Look, he's already gained places off the start line. No funny business at the back. That's good to see. In the GP2 race this morning, there was a big accident on the start, but no problems with the Formula 1 cars. They are away. Schumacher leading. Button second. Massa third. Alonso. And uh, then we've got uh, Barrichello in the mix as well.
Clean wet tyre, starting there, high up on the grid. He's definitely going to have an advantage traction-wise, so hopefully he'll get a good start. He's certainly going to attack, isn't he, from the start? Looks like Michael Schumacher's going to attack as well. There is Schumacher on the grid. When the five lights go out, 70 laps of this race, unless we hit two hours first, but that's a long, long way off. Away they go, look for Barrichello accelerating, Massa is slow away, Raikkonen's had a good start, and Massa is being attacked by De La Rosa as they run down four abreast into the first corner, Massa's already lost two places, look at Barrichello up into second place then, Michael Schumacher, is that Schumacher? He's up in fifth or sixth place, what a phenomenal start by Michael Schumacher! Coming down towards turn two, De La Rosa has a look down the inside of Rubens Barrichello. Schumacher is right up there with Fisichella. Alonso's in the middle of a huge sandwich on board with Alonso. Looks like one of the Williams was going around the outside there. I wonder if it was Nico Rosberg. What a dramatic start. What a fabulous start for uh, Michael Schumacher. Kimi Raikkonen leading then. We're riding on board with the Renault. That's Rosberg on our right. Yeah, well, I saw two cars touch there. I think it's a Sauber. Under the right foot of 22 of the world's finest drivers. We're four stories up with headphones on. You can barely hear yourself speak. The energy is absolutely incredible. And it's coming to a critical point of this year's World Championship. And that's why Jean Todd looked as if he could barely bear to watch. And Pat Simmons looking tense too of the Renault team. Tremendous excitement and a tremendous place in which this excitement should play, to play out. What a great racetrack this is. Some people have compared it to Spa Francorchamps. 58 laps then of this Grand Prix. The anticipation almost unbearable. The start, watch out for Schumacher on the right, Massa on the left, Alonso behind him. They get away. Now, does Schumacher cut across? Yes, he does. Tries to get right in front of Alonso. He's having none of it. And Alonso's got him. But Michael comes back at him. Alonso gets out of shape. Fisichella's out of spin. There's chaos in midfield as everyone tries to avoid him. One of the Toyotas is tangled with the other Toyota, and that's Ralph Schumacher coming through. I think surely caught him. So Fisichella's spin caused by Alonso getting out of shape, trying to get around Michael Schumacher. And now Alonso is still attacking Schumacher hard as they make their way through. Massa trying to pull away at the front, and it looked as though in the initial pull away, Alonso had the momentum. It will be a serious loss to you. And uh, it's really a very, very special and odd day in many ways. Well, a graphic picture there of just what a slope it is on the start. The back end of the field actually are downhill, which is uh, just as difficult because if you move before the lights go out, you will get penalised. There's a sensor in every one of those grid slots and they're carefully analysed analyzed after this 22-car pack gets away. So, Michael Schumacher's last 200 miles at the wheel of a Formula One car will get underway when Charlie Whiting there releases the button and the lights go out. Go! Raikkonen on the right, Massa on the left. The Brazilian Grand Prix of 2006 is underway. Look at Jano Trulli. Alonso goes down the inside of him, but he's very cautious, Alonso, and it's given Barrichello the chance to attack Alonso, but Alonso keeps the line. Michael Schumacher gets squeezed out there a little bit. The two BMWs are still in front of him, as is Ralph Schumacher as they head down the back straight. Schumacher will get a tremendous toe behind those three cars, the two BMWs and his brother, but he had nowhere to go and use it. Are the BMWs going to tangle? They do. They just let Michael through. We've got a Williams off too. It looked like Nico Rosberg. So Michael just taking places hand over fist as the two BMW drivers squabbling over the same piece of tarmac. 